Hey guys, it's Rainy Nights. Today I'm going to show you how to do the first three floors in Hallowed uh, Sepulcher. Sepulcher, don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, you need the Sins of the Father quest completed, and I recommend 72 Agility so that you can... Uh, floor three is when it starts to get kind of good. Not amazing, but kind of good. Uh, so yeah, why do you want to do this? Well, you kind of have to if you want ideal agility XP per hour and you also uh, want to uh, get ready for you basically want to get the hallowed marks and get all your equipment before the actual good uh, content that comes later down the road uh, I probably I don't know I probably won't get 92 agility I don't think I can be bothered to do that one of my least favorite skills to train but for the rest of you that do plan to attempt to max your account or get 90 plus agility, then you will want to get the equipment from here. Me personally, I'm just doing it until 75 and then hoping to never touch it again. But uh, yeah, so for the equipment, we're going to bring uh, the graceful outfit, which you should definitely have at this point. Uh, we're going to bring the Dorgashun crossbow, which is the lightest crossbow in the game, making it the best in slot for this particular activity. Uh, we have a ring of dueling purely for new people that have never done this before. This is just a convenient right-click Ferox Enclave uh, teleport if you panic or you get poisoned or something like that. Uh, we have a Draken's Medallion to actually get ourselves there. And we have a Holy Book so that we can... We will need a Ceridoman item uh, to interact with a certain monument. Uh, so that's why you want the Holy Book. Uh, because we can't use a Holy Blessing because we need the Myth Grapple in, uh, in that slot. So that is going to be my setup. Uh, our inventory which uh, I actually did forget one item, which is the anti-poison. I should probably go get that before I forget. But the inventory is going to be a Lava Staff and a Cosmic Ruins. You can replace the Lava Staff with either Fire Ruins or a Fire Staff if you want. That is totally fine. The important thing is that we're able to cast level 3 enchant. We don't need to actually go to the spell book and press cast on it. It does it for us. But just make sure you're able to. Uh, when you, Yeah, you need to be able to. Then we're going to have one anti-poison, regular because they're dirt cheap, uh, and we're going to have a hammer, saw, steel nail specifically, make sure they're steel, and make sure the planks are regular planks, not oak, not teak, make sure they're regular planks. So we're going to have four planks, a bunch of nails, steel, and four vampire dust. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and actually get to where we need to go today. So we're going to right-click our Draken's Medallion and go to Dark Mire. I don't think... There might be other ways to get Darkmire, but this is really the best one. So just uh, you should definitely have this, especially if you've completed Sins of the Fog. We'll have it for sure. I like to make a little pit stop here. Uh, while I'm running to the hallowed place itself, I like to pick up people's vampire deaths that they don't want. This is a very popular Slayer location, so you're always going to find stuff on the ground here. So that's what I like to do personally, just pick up other people's loot that they don't want. And uh, yeah, then we're going to leave our Protect Melee on. We do not need prayer for this activity at all. So this is just to reduce some health damage. And uh, I will mention, if this is your very first time ever doing this, then you should bring a couple pieces of food. You do not need stamina potions at all, but maybe you want to take a couple sharks or something in case you're making a lot of mistakes. But it's really not that bad, so food is also unnecessary. So we're going to enter here. <clears throat> first thing you're going to do is uh, left click this this uh, skeleton here and he's going to give you a book this book is just like a player owned house collection thing and you can uh, place so you're going to get some uh, pages from this mini game and you can place these pages that you get into the book so if you're into that which I am uh, then make sure you pick up a book and uh, put it in your bank you also have a bank chest here obviously so we can deposit the vampire dust that we got from those players that we don't need. And uh, yeah, we also have uh, NPC here. If you die in this activity, do not die a second time because you will permanently lose your thing. So if you die, which is unlikely, but if you were to die, make sure you right-click collect from this guy. Uh, and that is extremely important, but you're not going to die doing this. Next up... Uh, I'll show you that he has a tool leprechaun storage thing. Now, these are 
best in slot for this activity. The only reason I'm not using them is because I think that would kind of make the guy lame. For example, I had a hallowed grapple and that would replace my myth grapple, but that's not really useful information to you because you probably don't have the hallowed grapple if you're watching this. So I'm just going to use the non best in slot stuff purely for the sake of the video. But these are the equipment you normally want to use. Uh, so you also have right click trade. Now, as far as the order goes, it's not that important, to be honest. I think you can basically buy these in any order you want. I would say the hallowed symbol is the least important, so you can save that for last. And the most important is probably the grapple and the ring. Uh, the grapple is just going to save you headaches from constantly failing those annoying grapple skill checks. And the ring is useful because every time you fail an obstacle, it decreases the recovery time. So technically increasing your XP per hour. Uh, but the first three floors are so easy anyway that the ring is not really that necessary either. That's why I saved it for last because you're never going to take damage anyway. So I just preferred to have the other ones first. So yeah. Uh, and also I'll mention the Hallowed Crystal Shards is a teleport directly to here. But I personally don't mind just a little walk to save my marks. Uh, the dark dye is to color your graceful black, which is probably the color I'll end up going right now. I'm using standard, obviously. And um, yeah, we also have hallowed tokens, which are used for floor five. If you are new to floor five, which I've never done, but like if you were new to floor five, then you would bring a hallowed token uh, purely to extend your time limit if you're panicking and you want to get your first complete, but it's not necessary. All right, last two things I want to mention right before we start the actual guide itself, walkthrough. Um, you, it's so important to understand how movement works in this game. So when my character is standing right here, my character's actually here because I'm stationary. But when my character is moving, I'm actually two tiles ahead of myself at all times in reality, despite where my character looks like it, where it is. So what I mean by that is, let's say if I want to click and go to that tile, right? So the very second I click that tile, my character's actually here in reality. And the reason that's important is because you're going to see me avoid a lot of damage and skip past stuff that like visually looks like I should be taking damage, but I'm not. And it's not luck or anything. It's just because I know that my character's two tiles ahead of itself at all times. So you can run past arrows. You can run past blades that are like kind of sitting on you. A lot of obstacles are going to be avoided purely because of that whole two tile thing. The other thing I want to mention is that if you're really desperate or lazy, uh, you could Google hallowed uh, sepulcher uh, ground tiles and um, you'll find various reddit posts with links to paste bins and if you go to those paste bins and copy the the text file thing to your clipboard you can right click the world map and press import and this will import other people's ground markers into your game so you can make this even easier than it already is uh, but yeah otherwise if this is your very first time then you could fill the rest of your inventory with food and uh yeah but uh, we will be fine. So this is a timed activity, and we're going to be looting a bunch of coffins along the way while we try to get to the end of the level. And we open those coffins by doing these sort of randomly generated, or it might be the same every time, but I think it's somewhat randomly generated, uh, little skilling tests like construction and prayer and stuff like that. So our first thing here, also, why do I have all these markers? Okay, I actually want to clear those. I don't think those are necessary. Okay, it's not letting me clear them. All right, well, I can't get rid of those. I wanted to get rid of them because I felt ground markers were unnecessary, but it looks like I can't do that. So we have one We have one single arrow being shot. We can tell which one it is. So you saw I just walked through an arrow right there because my character was two tiles ahead of itself. Now, that one was even kind of uh, suspicious. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I could have gotten hit by that, but I didn't. So yeah, it looks like I have easy mode on right now. Um which is odd, but okay. I'll take it. We'll take the easy mode. But yeah, these are just statues that are shooting flames, and you're just going to try and look for broken statues. Uh, it's no big deal, though. Man, this is really this is really throwing me off, though, having the, the tiles here. I don't normally have these. So right here would end the, the run, and um, you don't want to go there yet because you want to collect your one single mark because floor one always drops one mark. So we're going to grapple along the pillar here. I failed. That's why I like the hallowed grapple because you'll never fail. But with the myth grapple, I just failed. So I'm going to try again. And you can see in the top left, we have 35 seconds remaining. 
and we're going to search this trap. If I fail the coffin, then I'm going to have to drink my anti-poison. But I did succeed, so we're good. Okay. And now we can leave. So now floor two, I'll try to talk a little less and just kind of... Well, no, I'll talk the same amount, but... Okay, so I left click this magical obelisk, and since I have the holy book on, then I restore my rent energy to full for free. So we're going to climb down to the next floor. I got a 500 XP drop that is covered by my cam, but uh, you get your XP drop once you're done there. We're going to jump across the pillars. We can notice a grapple pillar here, but we can't actually use it yet, so we'll just remember that for later. We're going to have another single statue firing. So I was impatient, but you can just wait there in that green tile for it to come back. And then once the weapon disappears, then you can go. But I was impatient. So I just went anyway. Even if you do get hit by the blade, you just like, you, you don't die or anything. You take like maybe two points of damage and you get teleported a few steps back and then you just retry immediately. It's not a big deal if you fail anything. So you climb down the stairs. For this room, uh, just remember that blue is good, yellow is bad. Personally, I don't think it's even worth acknowledging the tiles at all. Just run past everything because more than likely you're just going to two tiles skip it anyway. So right here, you see, if you didn't have the tiles, I probably would have stood right here because of the two broken statues on either side. And I'm kind of wasting time talking, but okay. We have one minute left. So we're going to jump across. Don't leave. I will gladly leave. I actually don't know why this is here. The reason I'm thrown off right now is I did not place that tile there, so I have no idea how that tile got there. And nobody else has ever played my account but me, so that is honestly kind of spooky me. I have no idea how that got there. Maybe it's like a plugin I have or something. I don't know. Okay, floor three. This is where things get actually kind of challenging. So first thing we're going to do is just run past all these flames, and we're going to grapple across this pillar. Floor three is very good for marks, so this is where the money is. You also you, you do get very good GP from here. Again with the fails, man, it's super annoying. This is why I got the grapple as my first as my first item personally. Uh, the grapple is better than the ring, I think. All right, and we succeed again. So if I fail though, I will get poisoned. That's what the anti poison's for. Failed again. This is wasting time. Like this is actually wasting a significant amount of time. Uh, not being able to just 100% pass these things. Okay, we're going to wait for the blade to go away. Then we're going to go. These tiles are so annoying. I wish they weren't here. Okay, so now we have this thing. So I'm going to angle my camera to see what to dodge. And personally, like I said before, I don't think it's worth actually paying attention to the, you saw I just took, I did not take damage from the arrow because I got teleported. So my personal strategy is just to completely ignore the tiles on the ground and just move forward. Uh, and then we're gonna move forward again. This is gonna sacrifice two vampire dust. We're going to pass through, search the coffin, poisoned. Poisoned again, wasting time. OK, there we go. Drink my anti-poison. OK, so here's the first actual hard thing. I'm going to make it very simple for you, though. We're going to stand right here, and we're going to watch the statues. Once the fire ends, we click the next row. And I got, hold on. Again, the tiles are throwing me off here because I've never played with them before. So, Okay, that was bad. I'm actually glad I failed there because that was bad. So let me try this again. I have to not talk probably. Okay, so as soon as the flames end, you go, basically. Ignore the arrows. They don't matter. Their timing's irrelevant. All that matters is the flame timing. So as soon as the flames end, you go. And then you can adjust your character afterwards. So watch the flame timing. 
go after the flames end or maybe even like a millisecond before they end and then you can adjust your character to dodge the arrows afterwards just it, that's the where the main problem comes for people is they focus too much on the arrows uh, the arrows don't even look at them uh, they they only matter after you've you're running and you're about to succeed you know hopefully that makes sense obviously you have to practice there quite a bit to get it, it done your first time it's gonna be quite frustrating so another thing I'll mention is that um, the uh, when, so I only had 22 seconds left on my timer right so if the timer went to zero seconds, all that happens is this door right here closes and you can't go to the next floor. So you can still, um, I don't know if you could get your agility XP actually if you quick exit with the zero seconds. I'm going to assume no because you didn't complete the floor. But it's useful for practice. So even if your time left goes to zero, just keep doing that obstacle over and over again. Even if you don't get rewards at the end, the practice will be very useful. Because once you pass this thing successfully a single time, you'll be able to do it again and again over and over. So yeah. Then we're going to activate the run energy and we're going to right click quick exit. 1425 XP drop. We go to the bank chest. We deposit whatever stuff we got that we don't need. Uh, replace whatever we also need to. I did not have to build a bridge that time, but sometimes you'll build bridges. That's what the planks are for. And then you're ready to go again. If you fail, then you're going to have to use the uh, Darkmire Teleport again. But if you succeed, then we're conveniently right here still. So that's how you do Hallowed, Sepulcher, Floors 1 to 3. I will probably make a guide for Floor 4. And then Floor 5, I hope not, because I don't want to put myself through getting a 92 agility. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.